What is the real reason David Brevik, creator of Diablo 1, hated Diablo 1's Hellfire expansion? Oh my god, really? You're gonna bring that up? <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll tell it quickly, but basically it was not made by us. We had a design doc. They didn't follow it. They made a teddy bear quest. I was I need you. pissed. And, uh, and so then that, that was, that's really it in a nutshell. To understand Mr. Brevik's acute disdain for the Hellfire expansion, we need to first understand what happens behind the scenes in companies that take on expansions or inherit IPs, a topic that is seldom discussed in public. However, Mr. Brevik opened up during a GDC talk he did on the creation of Diablo 1. It, it didn't work out, it didn't sell like I wanted to. I mean, Davidson really wanted an expansion for the product, but we were gonna move on and make Diablo 2 at this time, and, uh, but Diablo 1 had sold so well that they really wanted this, and we said, well, so Davidson Associates and Sierra Online were owned by the same company at the time. So Sierra Online and Blizzard and all was one company. And so some people over at Sierra uh, said, well, we've got a team that could make this Hellfire expansion. And so we said, okay, and we sent them over a bunch of stuff and, and it just didn't work out. We couldn't communicate well with them. I was really upset about the entire thing. Uh, and in the end, I just kind of have disavowed it. Now, whether or not that's the right thing to do or not, I don't know, but, the, but you know, I'm still a little upset about the entire way that it went down. Although Hellfire has garnered somewhat of a cult nostalgia for some Diablo fans, it's understandable that the original development team still feel resentful about the apparent non-adherence to their original design doc. As David stated, there is the infamous teddy bear quest where we meet a girl, Celia, who tasks us with retrieving a lost teddy bear from an oozing, almost alien hive down by the river. I lost Theo, I lost my best friend. We were playing over by the river and Theo said he wanted to go look at the big green thing. I said we shouldn't, but we snuck over there. And then suddenly a bug came out. We ran away, but Theo fell down and the bug grabbed him and took him away. Not exactly faithful to the tone or direction of Diablo 1's main questline. Then there's the madman in the cow outfit. No, 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 no! This is my grey suit, it's for evening wear! Formal occasions, I can't wear this! What are you, some kind of weirdo? I need the brown suit! And finally, the boss of the game, Narkrul, who had zany voice lines that you could access. Hi, I'm free! Free to confront the one who banished me to the boy, Diablo! Hi, everybody, and I'm free to reward you, little mortal, with these Aerosmith tickets. You'll be getting backstage passes. You'll get to meet Steven Tyler and the whole band this Friday at the Coliseum. Thanks for getting me out of there! Now, if some of you say, well, we've never seen this content, it's because Blizzard North explicitly told Sierra to cut it out of the final release of the game because it didn't fit the original's vision and who would know better than the creators of the hit game. Sierra, however, left the cut content in-game and allowed players to access it with a leaked command text exploit, much to the chagrin of the original developers. And although Hellfire did boast its own aesthetics and story that was somewhat congruent with the main quest, they decided to move away from the gothic horror motif of Diablo 1 for a more HP Lovecraft horror-inspired vibe. The levels themselves were deemed by many as inferior as they didn't have the randomly generated layouts and could easily be memorized. But it doesn't stop there. Although Hellfire did provide some positive boons to the franchise, like a jog function for characters, and even an early version of Runes, which was later changed drastically, plus the inclusion of the Monk class, which hilariously, Blizzard South had vehemently denied any correlation between the Monk from Hellfire and Diablo 3. Seemingly the biggest insult to injury was that Sierra was also trying to hide more classes within command text files. The first was a bard class, which could be accessed through the rogue, and then the barbarian, which was the warrior, though he had different skills. Now the problem is that Blizzard North was painstakingly creating new classes for Diablo 2, and didn't want to have a faux barbarian show up in Hellfire's roster that didn't resemble Diablo 2's whirlwinding warrior and confuse 
expands or move the law away from what they were trying to establish. And I can only imagine the horror of having your baby being disfigured before your very eyes and having little recourses. Well, money talks. It'd be interesting to see what Sierra had to say in the matter all these years later. They'd probably say, hey, don't have a cow, man. Me? I'm a self-made cow. Make something of yourself and then we'll talk.